Tonight, an update for U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Jamaica, calling an emergency meeting with several Caribbean leaders as the surge in violence in Haiti has that country on the verge of collapse. Over the weekend, the U.S. military evacuated some U.S. embassy workers for safety reasons. The turmoil started last month with these powerful gangs demanding that the prime minister step down. CBS's Manuel Bohorquez has more on the growing crisis. Haiti is on the brink of collapse. Armed gangs have a stranglehold on the capital, setting fire to police stations and storming prisons to free thousands of inmates. The latest violence led the U.S. to evacuate non-essential personnel from the embassy in Port-au-Prince over the weekend. But it's the Haitian people who are caught in the middle. The situation in the country is critical. People can no longer go about their business, says this man. The gangs are threatening all-out war unless Haiti's prime minister, Ariel Henry, resigns. He is stuck in Puerto Rico after gangs attacked the main airport. Today, Secretary of State Antony Blinken flew to Jamaica for an emergency meeting with leaders from other Caribbean nations. The State Department says it's in touch with Americans trapped in Haiti. If they're in Haiti, they should leave uh, as soon as it's safe for them to do so. Henri took over after the assassination of Jovenel Moïse in 2021 and has delayed new elections. The turmoil has displaced 15,000 Haitians over the last week, and nearly 1,200 have been killed and 700 injured since the beginning of the year. Year. Jacqueline Charles covers the Caribbean for the Miami Herald. What is the life like right now for a normal Haitian family? There's only a few days of fuel that's, that's left for electricity. Schools are closed. Hospitals have also been overtaken um, by the gangs who have also done the same with police stations. I mean, people are really just on their own. For U.S. citizens in Haiti tonight, options to evacuate are limited because major U.S. carriers have suspended flights. If the situation there does not improve, CBS News has learned a full evacuation of the U.S. Embassy is likely. Nora? Very dangerous. Minnie Bohorkas, thank you so much.